All right, what's good? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Aloha. I am excited today because I am driving to take my 2021 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus to get tinted. Um, I'm usually not... Um, I, I like tint, but I also like the fishbowl look, um, especially with me having the white on white, the white interior. Um, I like the fishbowl look. However, um, seeing how the the new Teslas come with the black trim on the around the windows and the uh, I'm having a brain fart. The handles, the door handles. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Um, are trimmed in black. I think uh, it'll look good with the with the darker tint. I'm not gonna go too dark. Um, I'm gonna go legal. Don't want to have the police pulling me over for um, having illegal tent in now. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Um, so in Hawaii, I'm, I'm don't. I'm not gonna say this is now the gospel. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. But usually the cops won't pull you over just because of your tent. It's usually if you have some other kind of infraction, and then they will get you for your tent as well if you have a legal tent. Plus, we have annual inspections you have to do, even though my car is new. Uh, it, the new if you buy a brand new car, it comes with a two-year um, safety, uh, safety inspection sticker on your car already. So In 500 feet, turn left. I don't have to get my car inspected for two years, but again, I'd regular, rather go with the legal tent um, and to be legal. Uh, it's just the right thing to do. Um, but now thinking it, saying that I am holier than thou, yes, you know, when you go faster than the speed limit, that's illegal. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go with legal tent. So, for Hawaii, it's 35%. Um, I don't know how they came up with 35%, uh, as sunny as it is year-round. 20% is not too dark, um, provides a little bit more shading, and um, looks good. However, I will be putting 35% on uh, because that's what the Hawaii state law is. Uh, but I am excited. I won't have the fishbowl look no more. But I've, I've, I found a lot In of... 500 feet, turn right onto Kuala K Parkway. White Teslas online um, with the tenant, and they look pretty good. Yes, I saw one that had a 20% no, tent right that looked Parkway. amazing. But again, not going down that rabbit hole. Alrighty, so more to follow. Alrighty, back at it again. Today is 9-11, 20 years. So I am rocking my, if you can see it, my Golden Dragon t-shirt. Um, Cause at that time I was still active duty. I was stationed here in Hawaii. And I had staff duty that day. Not, I was coming on to staff duty that day. So we took over from the people who had it overnight. I was at, at home sleeping and my mother called me who lives in Florida and said, you know, pick up the phone. Um, somebody just blew up the uh, World Trade Center or, you know, or was an explosion in the World Trade Center, something that, uh, don't quote me on that. So I turn on the television and we're talking and I'm like, oh crap, you know, me being active duty, let me, like, let me start getting my stuff together. So I'm still on the phone with my mother watching the news. And then the second plane hit the second tower. And I'm like on the phone, my mom cursing, and I'm like having to apologize to my mom. This is just, uh, one thing you don't do, not with my mother. You're not going to curse around her, at her, none of that thing. So, anyway, um, I'm like, I got to go. So I immediately got off the phone and called my platoon, you know, started telling them, like, hey, This ain't no uh, accident that somebody just accidentally flew, uh, flew uh, a Jane, a, a plane into, I was about to say jumbo jet, I said Jane, a plane, a commercial airline into World Trade Center. So I was like, we need to go ahead and get it and come in. Nobody called yet, staff duty hadn't called yet, but let's go ahead and come in. Good thing I did, because everything was on lockdown there was a hundred percent check of everything and everybody i got in um, to scope barracks um, 
given ample time, but I know a lot of things was delayed. Um, formation was missing people because just the lines was hell alone. It was going through everything, you know. Um, so it was a crazy day. So we could take a moment of silence today, uh, remembering those who paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, on 9-11. Those that, that that died thereafter, you know, if it was the cause of uh, some type of cancer or what have you from inhalation of the, all the debris from when the, the towers collapse. Take a silent moment of silence. So, um, I did keep my eyes on the road. I did, if you hear the boom, boom, I did put it in autopilot. I was still had my hands on the steering wheel because um, if you put it in autopilot, you are still the driver. You are still responsible for what the car does. Um, anyway, yeah, that was, a, that was a crazy day and it's kind of hard to believe it's been 20 years uh, today. A lot has gone on since then, but I think we need to reflect and remember those uh, uh, that paid the ultimate sacrifice and what actually happened. You know, uh, I remember it seemed like we came together as a nation. Um, and I think we need that right now because we're, we're kind of divided. And I'm not going to get into no political or what have you and stuff. I just like, I hope that 9 11 brings us back together you know, as a nation. Just remembering that. I'm hoping that 9-11, so I know somebody's gonna mention in the comments and blow me up. You got your trolls, your little treasure trolls out there, always got something to say. Um, but I, I hope just reflecting on what happened in 9-11 can remind us that one, life is too short. You don't know in the blink of an eye when one of your loved ones, friends, family could be gone. So um, stop hating on each other, stop threatening each other to kill each other. Uh, yeah, I'm not again. I'm not gonna make this political. Uh, and back to the car. So cruising along in autopilot. Um, sorry, I don't have my second camera set up, uh, but I am on autopilot right now. Um, what I love about it is that yes, I can take my hands off the wheel, and the, the car will tell me after a certain amount of time. But it assists me even like right now while I'm talking. It allow me to make sure I stay in the lane. So I can be talking if I was just regular driving. Um, I could have accidentally, because I'm talking, moved to the left or the right. Now I know some people probably like, well, if you wasn't recording them, you wasn't talking to them, you'd pay attention. You know, maybe you can't multitask, you know what I'm saying? I use it like a safety precaution uh, when I'm driving, just to make sure it keeps me from from weaving. I, I, those that'll probably blow me up in the comments, um, there are some people that I mean, I think I'm sure all of us you can be changing radio station You do something that you distract it for a second and you kind of drift over it's happened You know so again normally like when I'm on the freeway right now going, you know Somewhat in a straight line distance. I'll put it in autopilot uh, I will put it in autopilot to make sure I can stay in all right, we will continue further all right so yes operation get the windows tenant is complete and i must say that i like it very much um, again i didn't go with the uh 20 percent which would have looked great i went with 35 percent because that's what hawaii state law requires um, don't need nobody trying to pull me over because my tent is illegal or what have you and stuff even though I probably could have got away with it to a certain degree until it was time to um, get the car re-inspected in two years with the white interior and the glass roof it probably would have provided a lot of light inside the car and made it look um, lighter However, once you do that, then you're trying to find somebody that to give you the hookup, and you usually got to pay more to be able to um, 
it get passed on the safety inspection. So anyway, uh, yeah, at first glance, I'm loving it. Now, so something weird happened. Um, when I dropped it off, I got a call from the tenor to let me know that I had a hair inside the glass. Yes, we did. I noticed there was a hair inside the right uh, passenger side glass. And I was like, no, I never noticed it. Um, so he took a picture of it, and I can see it in the tent too. So he took a picture before he tinted it. So I'm going to submit it to Tesla and see what they say. If they do honor it, um, see if they're going to, you know, of course, honor paying for my window to get retinted. So. More to follow on that. We'll see. Um, I've heard great things about Tesla's uh, reputation as far as um, customer service. So we'll see. All right. May you have a blessed day and aloha. Chew. All right, here it is with the tent. Um, I got my front shade in. And I have the top shades in. But you can see, I don't know if it comes off well in the camera. You can pretty much see through the tent it's not that dark as you can tell see it's got the white seats and i'll open it up real quick so i bought these um inserts the little mesh inserts they just pop in uh and they come with these little bags um show you that too. they come with this little tesla bag this is the the smaller bag is the front one the larger bag is the back one so they just fold down uh, it's pretty neat and it helps block some of the sun um, the shade i mean this the sun coming through the top of the glass roof now in my tent the guy they tinted all the way up to the tent is dark from the car itself from the manufacturer to about right here they went just past that it's blended you can't see it but I still throw the inserts in to be able to help with the shade. All right, peace.